Hi Explorers, welcome to Exploration Place. Erica here, and I'm here to talk about something you might not think about, or maybe you do, and it's light. Do you ever walk outside and you're like, hmm, I wonder where that, the light's coming from the sun, but I wonder what color it is. Or when you're at home and you look at the lights, you're like, I wonder why it's white. Well, just like our clothes have color, light also has color. There are three primary colors of light, and they are red, blue, and green. So they're a little bit different from the primary colors that we use in art. And when we combine those colors, we get new ones, our secondary. If you combine red and blue light, we get magenta. We combine blue and green, we get this color called cyan. It's kind of an aqua color. And then my favorite, if we combine red and green light, we get yellow. But if we combine all those colors, we get white light, which is really, really cool. In art, if you combine all the colors, you'd kind of get black or brown, but in light, when we combine them all, it's white light. So just like my flashlight, it's white light. But if I say we put it on a CD, like this right here, let's see what happens. Oh my goodness, there's lots of color there. We're gonna see the colors of the rainbow. This is called diffraction. Diffraction is just when all the colors of light are diffracted out and we see all the colors of the rainbow. It's really cool. If you have these materials, you could even try it at home. Something else we can use, a different tool is called diffraction glasses. They do the same thing as a CD. We just put them on and oh my goodness, I can see the colors of the rainbow. How cool is that that we can do that in science and you could do that at home? These glasses are super inexpensive and really fun to use. All right, explorers, thanks so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.